So we're very happy to welcome you. And uh, we ask that you just listen to him and pray with him and for him as he comes for us this morning. Our pastor, Peter Thomas. Amen. Amen. Lord Saints. Praise the Lord. Lord. Yeah. Let's praise Him again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to truly, truly give God a lot of thanks and honor for having been introduced in a roundabout way to the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. of the Apostolic Faith. Yeah. Wow. You know, the, the testimony is great. I can't get into it all today. But I am truly honored to be here. I'd like to give honor to our very own Bishop Belton Green, the Apostle Overseer General of this great and mighty work, and also his assistant, who is very near and dear to my heart, Bishop Melvin Samuels, who came to Denver, Colorado, and baptized me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh. On October the 16th, Friday, October the 16th, 2015. Yeah. Yeah. Not only myself, but my dear heart. Yeah. Yeah. My wife, my lovely bride, my companion. Yeah. Yeah. Dumped us in the water. I'd like to give honor to the host pastor, Elder Winfred Martin, yeah. assistant, and Mr. Norwood, and to the entire ministerial brethren, yeah. all under the hearing of my voice. Dr. Matthew, what a wonderful, skillful player. And I just want to say that there is one Lord, yeah. one faith, yeah. one baptism. Yeah. And, you know, the Lord today has given me an ear to hear what thus said the Spirit of the Lord. Yeah. It has quickened my ear to be able to hear as the learn according to the seeing eye prophet Isaiah some 750 years before Christ, in Isaiah chapter 50 and verse 4, said, the Lord hath given me the tongue of the learner. Yes. Amen. To be able to, to speak a word yes. in season yes. to him that is weary. I won't be before you long today because I've actually got to catch a plane to go back to Denver. And by the time we get over there, it's going to be snowing. Yes. And so I've actually got to leave a little bit after two. But... Uh, there was a word that the Lord put in my heart and yeah. in my spirit from Isaiah chapter 30 and just just a few moments, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee. Now that's what happened to me and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. Yeah. Walk ye in it. Yeah. Glory to God. When ye turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, mm -hmm. glory to God. I heard a word in my ear. God began to deal with me a couple years ago. We relocated back to Denver, Colorado. I lived here years ago. The Lord began to speak to me about holiness. And I began to share it with my wife. Yes. And as a consequence of, of taking a stand and decreeing what thus said the Lord, I began to see God left, right, and center. Amen. I began to testify in my wife the goodness of God in the way of holiness. Yeah. And uh, people began to see it near and far and abroad. And I just wanted to say that there is one way. Yeah. Yeah. That way is the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to yeah. God. Glory to God. So Isaiah chapter 15 verse 4 tells us, praise our God, the Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. All right. There may be somebody here that's weary today. Yeah. Come to Jesus. Glory to God. He waketh morning by morning. He waketh my ear to hear as the learned. Now, when I go to Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 2, it tells me that there, every way of a man is right in his eyes. And now today, as I came before you, yeah. I can say like the Apostle Paul, 
that I attain up with the excellency of speech or of man's wisdom. Amen. Good God Almighty. Yes, but I came to testify of the goodness yes, of Amen. God, of what He has done. Good God Almighty. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, just a few verses there, it tells me, glory to God. And I, brethren, when I came to you, yes. came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. Mm. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, the Apostle Paul said, Henceforth know I no man after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yes. Yes. And so I know you after the spirit. Spirit. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Father. Jump down to verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words yeah. of man's wisdom, but in demonstration hey. yeah. That's right. of the Spirit yeah. and of power. And I'm a yeah. firm believer that when you preach a thing, you better demonstrate the thing. Good God Almighty. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, yeah. but in the power of God. Mm -hmm. And so, concerning this one way, before I turn the microphone back over to our host, Pastor Elder Linford Martin, there is a way, and I, I want us to hear it very clear, clear today in Proverbs chapter 21, yes. verse 2. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking to somebody's heart that there is a way. Mm -hmm. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Amen. But the Lord pondereth the heart. Yes. I give you praise, my governor. Yes. Sir. Then when we turn to Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12, yes. for all under the hearing of my voice, Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12 tells us, there is a way yes. which seemeth right unto a man, yes. but the end thereof oh, right. are the ways of death. Amen. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 2 tells me all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord waiteth the oh, spirits. Proverbs 16 verse 17 tells us or rather verse 7 when a man's ways and understand when it says man, it means man, woman, boy, and girl. Yeah. Right. The, family. Yeah. the Greek word for that is anthropos. It means man, woman, boy, and girl. It means the entirety of the human family. All right. yeah. Proverbs 16 verse 7 tells us, When a man's ways please the Lord, yeah. he maketh elder, even his enemies, yeah. to be at peace with him. Glory. Good God Almighty. And so God led me through a roundabout way to the Holy Temple. Yes. And he led me by the right way. Yes. Because when I look at Psalm 107 and verse 7, yes. Psalm 107 and verse 7 tells me, good God Almighty. Yes. I give you praise, my governor. I thank you, my confidant. And he led them forth by the right way yes. that they might go to a city of habitation. Now my dear heart and I, we had been out in Denver, Colorado, and we were in a place of solitude. We were in a place that was a, it was a desperate place, a picturesque place. However, we needed the glory that, that fell decades ago upon the Holy Temple Church. Well, I want to also give honor to our late great apostle, Bishop Randolph Goodwin. Amen. Good God Almighty, he, he was a good man. Yes, he was. Amen. And in the years that I lived in New York City, when I came up from Jamaica, West Indies, growing up in New York City, had no idea of the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. But, but, for, but for such a time as this, the Lord Almighty connected us. Amen. And so when I finally spoke with Bishop Melvin Samuels out of the Columbia branch, the assistant, Bishop Melvin Samuels, Every word that the man of God spoke, I banked on it. I wrapped my faith around it. I latched my faith on it, man of God. Yeah. Every word that he spoke, it came to pass. Yeah. 
I fell down in the water yes. in the mighty name yes. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh. I heard the apostle Peter say that you ought to repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission or the removal of your sins. Good God Almighty. And he also went on further to say that this is not just for you, but it is also for your children. I enjoyed the, the testimony of the young man up in the front. And, and I pray that God will bring your entire family in. Today is the day of your, your breakthrough. Today is the day of blessings. Amen. And this is for you and your family and to all those that are afar off. Yes, sir. Even as many as the Lord, our God, shall call. Now you know that there was a, a man by the name of Caiaphas in, in St. John chapter 11 and verse 52. At the high priest, this came after the heel of Lazarus being raised from the dead. Martha said to Jesus that by now he stinketh. Mm -hmm. Jesus knew that Lazarus, his friend, had already fallen asleep. Told his disciples that, the, that his friend, we go to awake him, his disciples, especially I can imagine Peter, the apostle, very outspoken as my name's sake. He, 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 I can just imagine him saying, but Lord, if he sleepeth, he doeth well, he doeth good. Yes. At that time, Elder Martin, and they said to God, the disciples did not realize that Lazarus, the good friend, family friend of Jesus, had already been dead, yeah. wrapped up in his grave clothes. And sometimes we're going through a stink situation. Yeah. Good God Almighty, I'm here to testify that whatever it is that you're going through today, God is able to deliver you yeah, through many dangers, toils, yes. and stairs. I have already come. I give yes. you praise, my governor. I thank you, my confidant. I remember a time when that Jezebelic spirit, the spirit of Jezebel, was, was, was wrapped around me. All I tried to serve God. Can't get into all my testimony today because it is so long, but I can give you a brief testimony that that Jezebel spirit was trying to silence the voice. The, you know, the, the Jezebel spirit always, man of God, tries to silence the voice of the prophet, the, the prophet Elijah. But God would not let that Jezebel at the liar spirit, the Delilah spirit. I once sat in that Delilah's barber's chair. And you know what happens when you sit in Delilah's barber's chair? That hair locks get cut and then you begin to lose your strength in God. But good God Almighty, I give God praise. I give him praise for deliverance. Hallelujah. I, I thank him that he had mercy. Hallelujah. And so it came up on the heel of Lazarus being raised from the dead. And so they said, what are we going to do? This man, Jesus Christ, is doing so many miracles. And, and so the, the, the Pharisees and the high priests, yes. they took counsel in St. John chapter 11 against Jesus to take him. All right. And the high priest of that year, Caiaphas, would not know that God would use him to prophesy All right. and to say that you know nothing. For in St. John chapter 11 and verse 52, it tells us that for the nations, not just our nation, but for all nations, for the United States, for Jamaica West Indies, for Kenya, for Canada, for, for, for whatever host country you may be affiliated with. When I go to St. John chapter 11 and I begin to read that God used the mouth of Typhus, the high priest, of that year and he began to say amen and not for that nation only but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad amen. that is what the Lord has done for my dear heart and I yes. he's gathered us together into one fold into one body and we feel so welcome and we feel delighted to be here at the holy temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ All right. of the apostolic faith. Yes. So proud to say of the apostolic faith. Yes, I said of the apostolic yes, faith. Yes, Believe in the apostles' doctrines. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Serving the Lord with all our hearts. Yes. Right here in the nation's capital yes. in Washington, D.C. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. And so, so in, when we read that in 
Psalms 107, he led me okay. and he led my wife by the right way. Right. Look, God Almighty, I give you praise, my governor. Yes. Thomas asked him, how can we know the way in St. John chapter 14, yes. verse 5? Yes. And then by the time you reach to St. John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way. Yes. I praise you, my confidant. Yes. The truth yes. and the life. Yes. No man cometh unto the Father yes. but by me. Yes. <laughs> then we get to the testimony yes. of Philip. Just a, a verse or two down. Amen. Jesus said, Thumb in mind the way, the truth, and the life. He said that. Amen. Amen. And, and, and by the time we reach verse 7, if he had known me, he should have known my Father also. I'm speaking to everybody. If you know me, Jesus said, You know my Father. Because there is one Lord. One faith, one baptism, glory to God. And if you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. I praise you, my confidant. Verse 8 of John 14 says that Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices. It suffices us. It's sufficient for me. Good God Almighty. He told the Apostle Paul that he knocked off of his high horses. My grace is sufficient. For thee, yes, sir. glory to God. Verse 9, Jesus said, saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Yes. I'm telling the people of God here, and all under the hearing of my voice, have you been so long time amongst the holy temple, church of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the apostolic faith, and have you not known me? And those families that have accompanied the, the dear ones here, have you not known the Lord Jesus Christ? You woke up this morning, He started you on your way. Yeah. He's got you in your right mind. I praise Him, I come for God, I give you praise. And have you not known me? God wants us to have a relationship, and to, not just a relationship, but for us to walk yes. with God Almighty. Yes. With God Almighty, I give Him praise. Hallelujah. And so, so as I'm wrapping up, John chapter 14, verse 8, said, Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices us. Yes. Jesus said, Have I been so long time with you, Philip? And yet hath now thou not known me? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And said thou then, show us the Father. Good God Almighty. And so I want to tell you that there is one way. Yes. And that one way is the way of holiness. Yes. If I may turn to Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 8, it tells us that and a, and a highway shall be there, right. good God Almighty, and a way, mm -hmm. and it shall be called the way, the way of holiness. Yes, sir. God's only got one way. All right. Amen. It's not the Baptist way. All right. It's not the Roman Catholic Catholicism way. He's got one way. Mm -hmm. It's the way of holiness. Amen. And a highway shall be there, mm -hmm. and a way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. Good God Almighty. And so as I turn to Ephesians chapter 4, as I wrap this up and turn it back over to our host, Pastor, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20. We're going to continue just a couple more minutes on the way. Because I want each and every one of us under the hearing of my voice today to come into this one way. You know, I was raised Trinitarian. <laughs> I was raised as in the Trinity and, and years ago, Lord have mercy, Elder Martin, God began to knock that Trinitarian stuff out of me yeah. and he began to knock Trinity all out of me. Yeah. But I still had a Godhead problem. Yeah. I said I still had a Godhead problem. Yeah, right. So till that God knocked the two gods out of me mm -hmm. and began to show me that Jesus Christ is the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give you praise, my governor. I thank you, my confidant. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. He's a wonderful God. Yes, he is. He's an awesome God. Yes. He's my deliverer. Yes. Everything you need yes, sir. is in him today. Thank praise. you, Lord. Ephesians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Tells us. But ye have not so learned Christ. Yes. If so be, ye have heard him. And have been taught by him. Mm -hmm. I was raised in the church, but I was raised Trinity. Mm -hmm. I was raised Trinitarian. Okay. 
I was raised being baptized under the name, uh, under the titles, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. But I knew that something was wrong all these years, but couldn't trust anybody to baptize me, to duck me and my wife in the water. Till I came through the Holy Temple as a consequence of my wife's social feed. I won't get into the testimony right now, but let me let you know that as a consequence of that, I was able to get in touch with our dear assistant, Bishop Melvin Samuels. Yes. And when that man of God some months ago in the summer during Holy Convocation, the 50th Holy Convocation, spoke to me and my wife. And he said some things that were near and dear to my heart. And I took every word that he said to heart. Yes. Many times when preachers and pastors tell you that they're coming over to Denver or wherever I am, I, I, I take it with a grain of salt. Everything that Bishop Samuel said on the phone to me on that day, I took it to heart. I believed him. Yeah. I trusted him. And as he indicated, he flew over with his companion. And on the 6th, I would have you to know, on the 16th day of October, 2015, yeah. Elder Linford my God, we went, you know, they dried up the reservoirs at that time, a month before he came. The pools were drained. Uh, we we're one mile above sea level. So we don't have beaches like in Jamaica. We don't have beaches like on the East Coast here. Everything is a man-made reservoir, but after time, they dry it up. And so I, I, I said that when Bishop Samuels came, there was no way that I was going to let the man of God leave Colorado without baptizing That's me right. in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. according to Acts chapter 2 yeah. and verse 38. Yeah. And that is exactly what had happened. Hey. And then my wife became so convinced, she said, me too. And the two of us got baptized. Bishop <laughs> Samuel made sure that he prepared water for us. Glory to God. Acts, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 20. But ye have not so learned Christ, mm -hmm. if so be that ye have heard him yeah. and have been taught by him, yeah. as the truth is in Jesus. Yeah, I said the truth is in Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That ye put off concerning the former conversations. I love the testimony of this young man in the front. That you put off, amen, glory to God. Where it says that you put off concerning the former conversation. Yes. That's, a, that's the former behavior. Yes. That's the former testimony. Yes. The old man, mm -hmm. which is corrupt mm -hmm. according to the deceitful lust. And be renewed, mm -hmm. the people in the spirit of your mind. Yes. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And that you put on the new man, which after God, as the mother. Yes, sir. Glory to God is created in righteousness and this is the part that I want to get to and true holiness yeah. you see there's a thing called holiness and then there's a thing called true holiness yeah. <laughs> what we've got here at the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ yes. of the apostolic faith yeah. is true holiness. true holiness the glory that is upon this entire organization worldwide then beneath this glory Hallelujah. and we, 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 we by the grace of God, we'll bring this glory back to Denver, Colorado. Uh, yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. Yes. And that you put on the new man, yes. which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. speak every man truth mm -hmm. with his neighbor. Mm -hmm. For we are members one of another. Praise Amen. Right. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 8 tells us, Is there a God besides me? God said, Yea, I know not none. I know not any other. There's only one God. Glory to God. James chapter 2 verse 19 tells us that if you believe that there's one God that you're doing well. He said the devils also believe and tremble. So if the devil believes that there's one God, not, not three gods, not three and one God, not Trinity, but one God, if the devils believe that there's one God, how come we can't believe that there's one God? People, how can you can't believe that there is one God? There is one God. According to Deuteronomy 6 and verse 4, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt have no other gods but this one Lord. Glory to God. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 39, here's what the prophet that led the people out of Egyptian bondage said in verse 39 he said no no therefore this day in Deuteronomy two more verses and I'll just go ahead and turn it back over Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 39 yeah. this is what the prophet said Moses verse 39 no therefore this day and consider it in thine heart that the Lord he is God not they are God, mm -hmm. but that the Lord, He is God. Mm -hmm. 
in heaven above and upon the earth beneath. Mm -hmm. There is none else. Mm -hmm. Not they, not them, mm -hmm. but one God. one God. I give you praise, my governor. The Rahab concerning the two spies in Joshua chapter 2 and verse 11 tells us these words. Listen to what Rahab said. She said, and as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts, I give you praise, my governor, did melt. Yes. I thank you, my confidant. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man. This is Rahab. They call her the harlot. This is what she said. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you, the children of Israel, because of you, the holy temple church of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the apostolic faith. And she went on further to say, For the Lord your God, He is God, not they are God, That's right. not them, That's right. but He is God, yes. in heaven above yes. and in earth beneath. Good God Almighty, Psalmist David in Psalm 100, verse 3 says, Know ye that the Lord, He is God. How oh, glory to God. And the scribe finally in Mark chapter 12 and verse 32 told us that he told Jesus that of the truth. Jesus Christ, you're talking truth. And I'll just start at verse 29. And Jesus answered, the first of all commandments is hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. One Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, yes. with all thy soul, yes. with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. Amen. This is the first commandment. Yes. I give you praise, my governor. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Let us love one another, saints. Yes, Lord. And people of God, friends, visitors, let us love our one another. Yes, there is none other commandment greater than these. Hear what the scribe said to Jesus. Verse 32 of Mark chapter 12. And the scribe said unto him, Well, master, Thou hast said the truth. Describe Adam Martin is telling us yes, that Jesus Christ told the truth. Amen. What did he tell the truth and say? He said, he said, for there is one God. Yes. <laughs> and there is no other but he. Yes, Good God Almighty. Yes, <laughs> I give you praise. And finally, I, we were holding a service a few weeks ago in, in our home. And, and we were witnessing to the ones that were coming in one particular dear scripture and we one particular dear sister who wants to go down in the water but because I'm convinced that I will not baptize a certain individual with any ornaments, jewelry, weaves, wigs, pants, makeup, uh, well, they, they, they call it makeup but in the, in the Bible in 2 Kings chapter 9 verse 30 verse 30, 30, 37, uh, uh, the Bible of God calls it painting up yourself, painting up your face, painting up your nails. And so until, until that time comes, not a soul will be baptized by me until all ornaments, all these things that are of the world drops off, glory to God. And so I was talking with our dearly beloved Bishop Samuels, and then I said, you know, I'm going into this service tomorrow, and I, 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 I just need one more verse. How about he comes and he calls? He calls us. I, I, I think he couldn't reach me, call my wife, and then subsequently I got on the phone with him. He gave me that one scripture, and can and, 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 and I just drop it right, right there and just leave it right there? First John chapter 5 and verse 20, to talk and to testify of this one God. Yes. I give you praise, my confidant. And we know that the Son of God is come okay. and hath given us mm -hmm. an understanding. Saints of God, we have an understanding Amen. of this one God. Thank you, According to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5, it is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, verse 6, one God and Father of all, and in you all, yeah. and through you all, good God Almighty. Yes, he said, and we know that the Son of God is come, 1 yes. John 5, 20, and hath given us an understanding yes. that we may know Him. Yes. That is true. And we are in Him. That is true. Even in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God 
and eternal life. Saints of God, I turn the mic over to our host, Pastor Elder Linford Martin. God bless you. I'm glad and grateful to God to be in fellowship with you. And I thank you for your welcome. We've watched you on the YouTube. And you know, it's powerful and potent. Uh, many people are using the internet for buffoonery. But some of us are using it to gain God. And, and you know, you ought to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's how I came across the Holy Temple Church yeah. of the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. of the apostolic faith. Yeah. I just like to say of the apostolic faith, yeah. of the ap apostles' doctrines. Right. God bless you. God keep you. Yeah. Right. 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 in him as he shared his own personal experience as he stumbled on the greater light and more truth in the word of the Lord. So we thank him for being here just this morning and our heart rejoice in the God of our salvation. At this time we ask you again to just get your Bibles out and for just a brief moment. I want to just tell you a little Bible story and then We'll bless this beautiful baby boy and we have a refreshment will be provided for you downstairs. We thank God again for both our pastor Thomas and his lovely wife. Amen. Yes. In the book of John, very familiar story and it tells of Sometimes we find the truth running away from the lie. Sometimes we find the truth running to the truth. Church, say amen. Amen. But if you are to be in the truth somewhere along the way, you will embrace it. John chapter 4 and verse 6. Very happy to see our Brother Rico Williams in the house, in the church, give us a hand clap. John chapter 4. And the sixth verse. And the sixth verse. Now Jacob's well was now, there. Jacob's well was there. Yeah. And this location is identified because it shapes the story. It influences the story. Or Pastor Thomas shared with you that as he surfed the Facebook and internet, he came up to YouTube and heard sermons from different elders that engaged him and out of his pursuit for Christ led him to understand a clearer, uh, a higher level of clarity that Jesus indeed was God. All right? Amen. Sometimes in the right place and at the right time, truth can find you. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Amen. 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 Now Jacob's well. Now Jacob well was there. Was there. Jesus therefore. And Jesus therefore. Being weary. Holy. Yes. Sometimes we look at Christ and we look at him too much as being human, Mary's boy. Alright. And sometimes we look at Jesus and he becomes too ecclesiastic. He is so godlike, he's as if he wasn't human, but he was both. Yes, praise the Lord. And we hear very detailed life of Christ. Jesus being That's weary. Right. With his journey. Yeah. Do you ever get weary sometimes? Yeah. Yes, sir. Anybody in the house ever get tired? Amen. Amen. Long trip, long journey, doing things just seems wearisome. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. You get tired sometimes. Amen. Amen. And the Bible can't lie. God is not a man that he can lie, according to Numbers chapter 14 and verse 19. God cannot lie. That's right. He 
he was weary. Yeah, that's right. He was tired. Amen. Yeah, the Bible says everywhere he went, mm -hmm. he, went he was good. doing good. Yeah, yeah, all man. Galilee and all Judea. Wherever he went, he was doing good. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. So finally he stopped at Jacob's work. Being weary. And the Bible says he got weary. With his turn. Sometimes you get weary with your church. My Lord. They preach too long. My Lord. You get weary with policies and procedures. Are you with me? Amen. I get weary with the president. Because as much as I admire him and all that he has done and all he has gone through, I don't believe in same-sex marriage. Oh, yeah. I get weary with him. Yes, I admire him. Yes. I give him the highest respect for touching same-sex marriage. If you do something that God don't agree and support, I get weary with it. Amen. You get weary emotionally. You get weary you can't pay your bills. We got anybody in the house? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Can we get amen? Amen. I get weary stopping at the gas station buying gas, even though the gas price is falling. <laughs> but the Bible says Jesus That's right. got weary. Amen. With his journey. Most of his journey, 80% of his journey was on foot. That's right. He traveled, yeah. he walked, he talked, mm -hmm. he preached. And so he came to this well. Well, that was made for the refreshment yes, of the patriarch, mm -hmm. a refreshment of the patriarch's son, right. a refreshment for the patriarch sheep and cattle. Are you with me? Yes. yes. And it's at this well we find Jesus weary. That's God. right. Uh, let me encourage you. Let me suggest. No matter how weary you get, right, never get too weary. Mm. Just seek the Lord. Amen. Never get too tired. I don't want to pray. Right. Never get to a place, you know, maybe there's something to be said about being a believer. Don't get weary. Mm. All right. Can I get amen? Amen. Can I get amen? Amen. Be weary of his journey. That's right. With his journey. Yes. Set us on the well. Glory to God. And there we see God wrapped up in his human form. The mm -hmm. world needed a savior, all right? Yeah. The world was on its way to hell, praise the Lord. The world was dying and it needed a savior, praise the Lord. The Bible says in Revelation they tried to find somebody mm -hmm. that would be worthy enough to rescue yes. man from his own plight, his own depravity, his wrongdoing, and they couldn't find anybody. And the Bible says, as they search the heavens, can I get an amen? Yes, amen. Sir. They search only the heavens. Yes, sir. They search everywhere. Can I find one man that is good enough? That was, that's right. Us. They couldn't find it about you. And the Bible says, and the began to cry. And one of the elders said, that's right. Amen. 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 And a voice of hope came. Yeah. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep, Weep not. Because when Christ comes into your family, Christ comes into your life. Yes. Your weeping is detailed. Praise the Lord. I'm going to get amen. 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 The Bible says, Weeping may endure. For a night. For a short while. It has an expiration date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But joy comes. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't get weeping. Amen. I challenge you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're here today. You're a visitor, but I challenge you to come on back. Don't get weary. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Open your Bible sometimes. Yes. yes. Read the book of Acts. Yes. 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 Pray the Lord. Chapter ah. 2, verse 38. Yes. On the historic moment yes. in the life of time of the early church. Yes. Mm -hmm. They did not know they had killed God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Come on now. We did what? Yes. You are telling us historically? Yes. All the way from Abraham yes. until now? Yes. We killed the king, the oh, prince of glory? Yes. We did. And after Peter outlined what they yes, did, sir. what their grandpapa did, what their mm -hmm. grandma did, all the way back. Yes. I got it called out to them. When they heard it, there was no altar call. They cried out. That's right. Now yes. And brethren, brethren, what shall we do? We're weary. Yes. This knowledge has helped us. And we want to make a change. Praise the Lord. 
you can fall in love with God and don't make a change. Amen. Which woman fall in love with a man, marry him, he gives her a name, they have a house, and every time you go home, she's off somewhere. Make place. Sir. You got a bad marriage. That's right. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. She called. When are you coming home? I don't know. <coughs> I don't Where know. are you? With the girls. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wrong with that marriage? Yes, sir. Uh, the man just got married and he always takes the scenic scene. When the light is yellow, he stops. When a man is in love, he runs through the amber. <laughs> yes. Are you yes. Amen. 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 Caught pulling up. Do, do you know what's I got to get home. I just got married. Yes. I got me a new wife. I want to be with her. I want to have dinner with her. There is a unity. There is a love. There is yes. something wonderful that happened. Praise God. And that's why this man, not even a month old, has it written down. October the 16th. Oh, got my baptism the right way. And yes. Uh, he's got a story to tell. Oh, amen. 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 Being weary. That's right. With his journey. With his journey. Sat thus on the well. He sat at the well. Amen. And it was about the sixth hour. And it was about the sixth hour. There come up a woman. Wait, 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 wait. The Bible is filled with details. And mm -hmm. Most of us, we read it, but the Bible mm -hmm. is not to be read. It is to be studied. Yes. Yes. Lord, at six o'clock, it's twelve o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's daytime. Mm -hmm. That's not the time that you go to the well to catch water. Mm -hmm. It is too hot. You go and catch water early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Okay. But the Bible tells that there was a need for Jesus. That's right. Sometimes you get so weary with your life, you don't even wait. Still, it's the proper time. Yes. yes. Come you know, on. Yeah, boy! It doesn't matter. Amen. Now we live at night, it doesn't matter. The Bible talk about God told a man, get up! I want you to kill your boy, I'm going to tell you where to go. And the Bible said, if I'm going to early in the morning, yes, sir, that's right, it's your objector. You don't know what early means. Did he sneak the boy out so that Sarah wouldn't know? Did he fear God and say, let's get it over with? But we know that he got up early. Amen. Church say amen. God amen. Don't touch your heart and you just. Just casual. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sashay. Now, you know, Sashay, when God touched your heart and come a hold to you, praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You don't have it like that. I invite you to try it again. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise, Amen. praise the Lord. Praise God. Try it again. Mm -hmm. There's chemistry between you and Christ. Oh, I'm a nobody. He's a nobody. We just introductory. We just tell him. It's not about us, it's about him. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. God you're living into your heart. You'll leave here today with a smile. Mm -hmm. And all your weariness, you begin to trade it. And says, Lord, I give you my weariness. Mm -hmm. And you give me your joy. Praise, Praise God. God. Amen. 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 That six, the first chapter of the book of Isaiah says, Give me a trade. All right? Amen. Give me your ash. Yes. Oh, For the beauty yes. of holiness. Yes. So can I look in my life and say, what in my life that is driving me weary? Yes. What in my life that I can't live the full life? I burn it up. And I take the ash and say, Lord, here's the ash of my anger. Mm -hmm. Here's the ash of my jealousy. Here's the ash of my envy. Here's the <coughs> ash of my lust. Whatever it is, burn it up and give it to God. Preach the word. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Watch how God beautifies you. Yes. Watch how God lifts you up. Give you an energy you never had before. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Being weary. Being weary. Being weary. <laughs> when you get weary, you don't feel like going nowhere. That's yes, right. Uh, let's look at Jesus. Oh, yes. The Bible said he sat thus on the well. He sat down. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lord. Amen. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Things get worse. Sister, just, just have a seat. <laughs> That's right. I'll right. wait to something new and exciting. Yes. But there's going to be come some days, some cold days. Yes. Okay. There will be no Bishop Sam. There will be no Elder Martin. Mm -hmm. 
That's right. No Bishop Green, it's going to be you and God alone. Yes. Yes. Don't get married! Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Stay the course! Yes. Thank you, yes. Jesus! Yes. Stay the course! Hallelujah! Ask God to refresh you. Yes. Yes. When the phone rings, yes. pray. Yes. Pray. 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 Oh, oh He sat down. Yes. yes. I could see him right now. My God, I'm sitting down! Yes. My God, we have made provision for others. That's yes, right. Sir. He sat. That's on the well. That's on the well. And it was about the sixth hour. It was about 12 o'clock, the sixth hour. Amen. There cometh a woman. And here come another weary woman. Amen. Now watch the juxtaposition. A weary Jesus mm -hmm. and a weary woman. Mm -hmm. A woman so weary, broad daylight, she's going to look for a change in her life. Mm -hmm. A weary Christ. So weary, he sent the apostles, you go to town and buy bread. I'm sitting this one out. <laughs> Church, say amen. 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 Here come a woman. Of Samaria. A woman without name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Say amen. 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 And, uh, we try to get her name on so it's Elder Linford C. Martin. Peter Thomas and uh, I'm born the same year with Bob Marley. I grew up with Bob Marley. I could sing one love. I shot the shepherd. Yeah! But here came a time. I got <laughs> weary of the world. I get weary of getting down. I get weary I want something more straight. Yeah. I want something more real. Yes. Hallelujah. That's right. Praise the word. Tell the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Find change until you get weary about yourself. Yes. You're weary about your church attendance. The same old message. The same old thing. And you go Monday morning, you go right back. Mm -hmm. Saturday night, if you're not careful, Saturday night, you're someplace where Jesus is not there with you. That's right. Amen. Like Sunday morning. Right <laughs> you don't want to do that. Jesus. Here come a weary woman. Amen. They're coming for a woman of Samaria. And she's from Samaria, a woman without name. Amen. When the Bible does that day from a theological inspector, and it says, when she has no name, she represents all women. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have a certain woman which specializes the pursuit. Mm -hmm. And then you have a woman that captures all of us. And so here she comes. That's right. She is from Samaria. To draw water. And she comes to draw water. Jesus said unto her. And Jesus in his weariness. Mm -hmm. said when, 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 you, when you're weary, don't you feel like asking for help? Mm -hmm. Amen. You ever get so weary, you feel like, well, let me call her up and see. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sleep well last night. I thought <coughs> I put the pillow this way and I put the pillow that way, but I'm still not satisfied. Mm -hmm. uh, let me call up a girl. Girl, child, and you have a talk, you're still weary. Mm -hmm. Amen. You fix breakfast and two eggs over easy and a couple slices of bacon, some juice and some toast. And you have that and you get it and you're still, something's still missing. Yes. 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 Can I get any message? Amen. God is weary woman said, you know what? I'm not going to stay here. Um, I'm going to get me a pail of water. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe it will address my weariness. Amen. And here come a woman. She could have been from Colorado. <laughs> she could have been from Gainesville. She could have been from D.C. Mm -hmm. But she represents a touch of all of us. Okay. Okay. Here come this American woman. That's right. And Amen. when she got to the well, Jesus initiates the first. He always does. Yes, he yes. does. When God knows you're weary, you sometimes don't even have to go to God. The Bible says he knows what you're thinking before you even think it. That's right. Oh, well, that sounds simple. Like one, three, nine. One, one, three, nine. That's right. Amen. He knows what you're thinking before you thought even praying when it comes home. Praise the Lord. So consistent sentence. My Lord. And so Jesus reached out to her and says, Give me, me to drink. That's right. Amen. You ever go to your best friend and ask for help? And they have a long explanation for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's not the right time. Things run a little low this month. That's right. The baby was sick. Yeah. 
Somebody need this, somebody need that. That's right. All kinds of things happen. Yes. yes. Give me a drink. Amen. And she was shocked. Mm -hmm. Jesus right. is talking to somebody right now, and it is shocking you. Mm. That's right. Come because on. you're saying, you're talking to me. Yes. Uh, but you know my life. Yes. yes. You know where I've been. Come on. Man. You know what my thoughts have been like. Amen. You know all the mistakes that I've made. And all the relationships that I've tried. And you're, you're talking to me? Yes, sir. She said to Jesus, mm -hmm. You're yeah. talking to me? That's right. Then the woman said unto Sam of Samaria, Unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, she questioned his motives. From what I know, based on our history, you Jews don't talk to Samaritans. And we don't have time to tell you why. But there's a history, a disconnect between the Samaritans and the Jews. And she reminded him, you're asking me for something? You guys don't talk to us. That's right. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God. Amen. 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 Read. Amen. Then said the woman then the woman. of Samaria. Samaria. Amen. Unto him. How is it that thou? How is it that thou? Being a Jew. Being a Jew. Ask a drink of me. You ask of me a drink? We don't right. have multiple cups here. We don't talk to each other. You expect me and you and me to drink from the same. When God comes into your life, contradictions go out of the window. Yes, sir. Oh, he doesn't care if you're rich or you're poor, you're black, you're white, Southeast, DC, whatever. But when God speaks, the boundaries begin to fall. Thank God. Mm. Can we get an amen? Amen. Can we get an amen? Amen. amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are asked me to give you a drink yes. you don't talk to us we don't which am a woman, I'm a woman of, Samaria, of Samaria for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans that's true mm -hmm. no dealings are you with me yes. amen no dealings church of God in Christ Pentecostal people yes, of the world Holy Temple, we all have our distinctions and our personality. Uh, you coming along and break down all barriers and tell me we can drink together. Oh, glory to God. Jesus. Church, say amen. 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 Come on, son, read. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. And said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God. That's all I want to pause on. That's for a few minutes and let you go. Slowly. And with some deliberation. If, if thou knewest the gift of God. Amen. If everybody knew God's gift, you stop the service right now. Yeah. Yeah. Why? We want to be baptized. Yeah. Make it plain, sir. Why? We understand the gift of God. That's right. We understand the gift of love. Mm -hmm. We understand the gift of forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. We understand the gift of mercy. Thank you. Kindness. The scales have been rolled from my eyes. And I can see clearly now. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory. I'm ready to tell fornicators goodbye, absorbers. Goodbye, hard liquor. Goodbye, lying, steal. Everything that I've got. I want to love what God loves. Praise I want to hate what God hates. And hope just a little fragment. Mm -hmm. See? Maybe just a little bit of knowledge. Yes. Go through the shirt, go through the blouse, touch your heart, Faith. and you'll cry. Oh, this is what church is all about. Amen. Amen. Other than that, you'll sit as a spectator, mm -hmm. speculating on the spectacle. Yeah. But to be an active participant, Oh, when God speaks to your heart, yes. you can't resist it. Come on, Pastor. Somebody sitting right next to you. Yes. And don't get it. And they, how oh, long this guy can preach? He had been a fellow preaching for a while. Now he's up here for a while. 
Why don't you wrap this thing up? Tell the truth. I'm debating each other. All kinds of stuff going on. Tell the truth. But well, all when God speaks to your heart. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Amen. Amen. Come on, son. Let's wrap it up. Please. That's right. If thou knowest the gift of God. <laughs> thou knowest. That's right. The gift of God. And who it is. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Thou knowest the gift of God. Speak to yourself right now and say, Lord, reveal your gift to me. Hallelujah. God have mercy. Mm -hmm. Church wouldn't be so laborious. Church would be such a chore. Church would be like walking through the snow and just dread. No. Yes, sir. When you know the gift of God, yes. mm -hmm. my God, I hear David says, I feel like I could run through troops. Mm -hmm. Thank God. And if you put a wall, he says, I'll leap over it. Yes, sir. Yes. Glory to Glory. Glory. Yes. Oh, for the Oh, if only you knew the your gift. question, who talked to you, brilliant Samaritan, I am the uniter. I take this and I take it and I bring them together. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. 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 Church, say amen. 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 I love telling this brother testimony. Because a part of his testimony echoes a part of my story. This fellow, when he knew about God, and the little bit he knew, he was so zealous. I thought he thought he was Michael Jordan. <laughs> or maybe LeBron James. Or maybe who knows, Stephen Curry now. But he just felt like he was in the pain, getting the ball. And he's walking around the job telling somebody, I've got a relationship with God. God spoke to my heart! I want to do something, but I don't feel satisfied. God says, why, why? He says, I want to be baptized. I've never been baptized. He says, I want to be baptized. And, oh, when God speaks to your heart, the fellow says, you want to be baptized? He said, come with me. And he took it. Went to the vending machine, yes. mm -hmm. took his money out and straightened up his dollar and got a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. Opened up the bottle of water and poured it all over. Mm -hmm. Wet him all up. You think he said, Oh my God! No! He was happy because he thought this is the gift of God. Baptism allows everything that I did from a child, from yes. the moment I know right and wrong. Mm -hmm. All of it! When I'm baptized, it's forgiven. Yes, sir. All my drugs. Thank God. Mm -hmm. All my women. Yes. All my this. Oh. Yes. All my that. Amen. The gift of God. Yes, sir. Wake me up! Hallelujah. Jesus. Later on, we found out that there's no baptism. That's right. right. Yeah. Amen. That's right. But the Bible says, as they follow around, mm -hmm. you get weary, alright. Amen. Get yourself a seat, but don't yes. go anywhere. Yes. Get back up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Praise, Praise God. God. Hey! Amen. 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 If thou knew it. a story to tell you. Assemblies of God mean. United Pentecostal, yes. Bible and Street, me. Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, me. And almost 40 years ago, Holy Temple, mm -hmm. I took the scenic route. <laughs> Are you with me? Mm -hmm. But never stopped. Did I get weary? Yes. Got very weary sometimes. Did people break my heart? Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Amen. 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 But through all the fog, yes, sir. Yes. And through all the curse, yes, yes. Sir. And through all the pain, yes. He remained constant. Thank you, Jesus. I said to myself, I want something in my life that has no expiration date. Open okay, the fridge, the mail, expiration. The juice, expiration. Yes, sir. This expiration. Yes, sir. News after this, no good. Yes. I wanted something. Yes, sir. That would be centered in my life. Glory. Yes, you got your hands around 
and you got some juice in it, but every time you bring the juice up, juice is pouring more out of the bottom. But it gives you the uh, just just the notion you've got something, but it's nothing. That's right. God, that's Jesus. Jesus. If only you knew the gift of God. Amen. And who it is that saith to thee. That's right. There's a guy somewhere who made cell phone. And history says it's a black guy, I forget his name. But he never dreamed, he never dreamed in a hundred thousand years that the cell phone would become a part of a black man's redemption. <laughs> Since the cell phone, people were catching cops on the camera. Mm -hmm. People being beat up all the time. Yes, sir. But we had no proof. Yes, sir. <laughs> Guy been shot 16 times. I don't know you time for this arrest. He was distanced from him. Bang, bang, bang. That's on the street. Bang, bang, bang. That's seven. Bang, bang, bang. That's ten. 16 times. That, that little cell phone has rescued so many of us. Mm -hmm. Because we now have tangible proof yes. to show that the cop was not a good man. And he lied when he said, I got from his, for his God. Mm. Amen. Amen. Jesus, come along. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm. And turn our nightmare That's right. mm -hmm. into a beautiful dream. Yes. Lord, I thank you. Why would you say no to Jesus? Jesus. Why would you? Where are you going? Hell. Well, well I have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We'll say it, sir. And Jesus says, well, you don't have to. No. But I broke the law. I know. Mm. And the law will have to be addressed. So I'll do it for you. Mm. What's the punishment? Not only hell here, but a hell for eternal life. Oh, Jesus. And he mm. says, no, you sit down. I'll take the nails for him. Mm. Mm. Lord, thank you. Glory, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I don't care how much she said you. she loves you. How much she said he loves you. The way he holds you, the way he talks to you. I'm telling you, he could put you to Mars, but God put you into heaven. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Nobody can love you like Jesus. Yes, and that's right. Amen. And you can fall in love with Jesus so much that you are not let go for each other. Thank that's you, Lord right. Jesus. Amen. Because I'll need those people too. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. I love the Lord. Tell the truth, sir. That's right. But no point in the emotion. Oh, the truth. Oh, the truth. But they can't stand each other. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Thank you. Amen. 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 God says, I have interest in you. My life is not good. God says, I still have interest in you. That's right. And he will not love you less. Lord, I'm Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then she went to logic. You know when you face a Christian, you go to first you go to reason. And he says, You're not supposed to talk to me. You black, I'm white, I'm white, you black, you rich, I'm poor. There's a divide. You're Trump, I'm a nobody. And then she said, and by the way, I notice you have nothing to draw with. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. And the well is deep. And now then you have no utensil to use. Mm -hmm. You don't have any rope. You don't have anything to bring the water up. Yes. Mm -hmm. And based on my history, this well is deep. That's yes. right. From whence then has thou that living water? How can you offer me something that you don't have access to? Yes. Amen. Uh -oh. Are thou greatest? Can I get an amen? amen. You can offer me something you don't know how to get to. Amen. You can offer me money you don't have at ATM. You don't have the bank. And you can offer me cash? Where do you think? So you can't put God in a box. No, sir. Yes. And tell God to go this way and go yes. this way. Yes. God does what he wants to do. And the way God works with sis is not the way God will work with her. 
She got baptized in across the street. She was so excited about her baptism. She went to her best friend to tell her best friend, you gotta go to the church across the street. Oh, the preacher saw the gospel. I got baptized. She heard it. She was persuaded. She came here. She sat back here. She said, I want to be baptized. We said, all right, we're ready. We got clothes. We have towels. We have socks. We have disposable this. We have that. We're baptized. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Friday night? She said, no, I'm not this Friday night. <laughs> so, oh, it's on it's okay, so it's so she didn't come. But this sister, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. praise God, something happened to her heart. Praise oh, God. God. We talk it out, my friend. That's right, sir. I'm coming. Make it swing. Amen. I'm weary of my life. Yes. Uh, I want to sit down with Jesus. Yes. I want to exchange my time then. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And it's looking impossible. He has nothing to draw with. That's yet. right. And the, the well is deep. The well is deep. Yes. From whence then? How can you help me? Has thou that living water? Praise God. Praise God. Are thou greater than our father Jacob? And then she's going to give my history lesson. I really, really like this woman. <laughs> our name. And yet she's one of the most prolific. Amen. <laughs> She gives him a crash course in history. <laughs> Are you greater than our father Jacob, Amen. which gave us the well? Not only did she know who gave the well, but he gave us this well. That's right. Amen. And then the history is more detailed. Mm -hmm. His family drank from this well. Yeah. Are oh, you with me? Yes. Sir. Amen. His sons drank from this well. That's right. And his cattle. His cattle drank from this well. Jesus answered and said unto her, Jesus said unto her, Whosoever. So Drink of this water. Uh, let's, let's time out. We're going too fast. Let's slow it up. Wait a minute. We're talking about two bodies of water. Thank you, thanks. Mm. There's one that resides yes. in this well. Amen. With all its history. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise the yes. Lord. Great. Yeah. But I want to tell you about another well. Come on. Now. That's right. Amen. A well that will not run dry. That's right. A well that just springs up. Uh, <coughs> on its own accord. That's right. Amen. Nothing after feed it. Go away! Amen. Just keep bubbling up. Yeah. That's right. And just bubbling yeah. up. Amen. And just bubbling up. Mm -hmm. And after a while, it will bring it to a boy. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Can you get amen? Amen. amen? Your church ain't preaching like that. You're not feeling that fire in you. Where is Jesus? Oh, huh? Where is Jesus? I want to meet him. I want to put my arms around him. You need to come visit us. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. 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 You'll sing like the writer says, Oh, he walks with me. Yes. And listen to the listen to the jokeability. And he talks with me. Alright? And he tells me, he assures me mm -hmm. that I belong to him. Yes. Amen. I want to tell you a testimony, but I know you don't have much time, but I've been in bed for the last seven days. When I got out of bed, I couldn't walk. Big meeting in Pittsburgh and in Gloucester. And to walk, I had to hold on to the wall like this. Just holding on. And I say to myself, I preach faith. I preach faith. And faith is just a fancy word, but I confidence in God. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I hold to him and he looks like he's not there. Amen. But he's everywhere. Amen. If I turn around, he's here. That's right. If I turn this way, he's there. That's right. And I don't want to be that around. Yes, I just had my 70th birthday. And people say, oh, you look so young for your age. I said, I didn't believe it. That's I wouldn't so believe you were born in 1945. Man, you could pass through. Maybe 49, 52, 55. <laughs> and I felt safe. You've got a good eye, doctor. Yeah. Don't change your ophthalmologist. <laughs> it's hard to go. But I had a sudden sickness that took me over and just. Yeah. But in my heart, I says, I want to meet this man. Praise God, sir. He could have said, I want to see the White House. I want to see Lincoln. I want to see. Monument, I want to do it, but he said, 
That's supposed to bring him to my house. I couldn't even get to him. In my struggle, I dropped my phone. Can't find it. Really, really awkward. Somebody wrote me an email and says, Brother Matt did something real sweet. The brother, the elder, the pastor and his wife, he took them home because he says Baltimore is too far for them. I said, I'm going there today. If I fall down, I tell somebody to pick me up and bring me a chair. And I'll preach from my chair. Amen. This is when you have a relationship with God, nothing stops it. Praise God. Sir. You don't know they're going back and look at all these great athletes who claim and they were hurt. That's right. Concussions. That's right. Coach put me back in the game. <laughs> Amen. Out of the game, I can feel it touch down. I'm telling you, they can't stop me. It's in me. And you have a relationship with God and you say, Oh well. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. People going crazy over the red screen, go to something else. Tell the truth. If they win one game, it's like it's all over. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And look what Jesus has done for us. Amen. Amen. Time and time and time again. You tell the truth. And you still remain unimpressed. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord Jesus. I always think about the first nail. And they stretch him out. Oh, Jesus. And says, Oh, you! Yeah, Uncross it. Put the nail. Jesus. And heal him the one kind. Hallelujah. The blood of it. Jesus. And at any moment, he first says, Okay, this is enough. That's right. Rewrite that page where they pierced me. Rewrite that page and says they use vine. I wrap my hands up. Yes, that's, mm. that's my that's my story. I'm the old Bible crap. I can change what I want to. Mm. Mm. That's but right. he took it. Mm. Yes, he did. Yes, and he took it again. Yes, oh, he did. And he crossed his legs. Oh, and that's for a long time. Hallelujah. And I will ask the question of you, what will you do for Jesus? And it says, oh, let me think about it. Mm. I'm really not too sure. Got a good thing going on right now. I don't want to change nothing. That's right. <laughs> Tell the truth. That's right. <laughs> Tell the truth. God knows to set my plans and got some numbers to call. Tell the truth. Some people to see. Winter is around the corner. I don't want to be going to bed at all. My Lord. <laughs> all see kinds of things. That's right. Amen. There was. A very famous guy. And he thought he was more famous than he was. And so he looked at Jesus and said, I'm going to have the power to release you. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Yeah, I'm going to call him this. The spirit did it to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. He said, oh, okay, 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 okay. We have a tradition here. Mm -hmm. Once a year, mm -hmm. by the power vested in me, we can have an exchange. This man was caught to be a rapist, he's treacherous, he's defeat, he's terrible, he's in jail. Let's exchange him for Jesus. And they cried out. The rams. Give us, Give us the rams. The rams. Mm -hmm. You know, today, my minister may make an altar call and says, is there anyone that would like to be baptized in one day of Lord Jesus Christ? And, and if you've never been baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he says, no thank you. You know what you really say? Give, us the Give me the rams. The rams. Thank you, Amen. 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 Until you fall in love with Jesus, you don't know what love is. That's right. Amen. That's right. I don't care how good that man is, how good that woman is. Yeah, I've been married for what? Four, 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 five, four, six years. But let me tell you, our exchanger in our heartbeat for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Really, I want both. Yes. If I can only have one, 
Give me Jesus. Praise the Lord, sir. Praise the Lord. It's just the truth. If I have to cry all night and the side of the pillow get wet, I turn over the dry side and cry again. Amen. <laughs> it's true, Lord. Until he gets into you like that. That's what he said to this woman. The love that I give you. The joy that I give you. It bubbles and bubbles. Right. Not like champagne that I've been drinking. But now it bubbles. That's right. Springing up into everlasting life. And it keeps springing and springing mm -hmm. and springing and springing and it keeps life everlasting. Right. When she heard that, all her conversation stopped. That's right. I'm coming to a close. The woman said unto him, and The woman said unto him, Sir, Sir, give me this water. Now, why would you not? If I'm offering your water, that will take you and come show me to the very present. I'd rather go back home and eat her. Jesus. Tell the truth. Well said. Can we get an amen? Amen. Can we get an amen? Amen. No, I like being single. I like drinking from here and drinking from there. Sir. Give me this book. Wonderful glory to God. Amen. Wonderful. That's what happened to him. When he heard the apostolic doctrine, yes, sir. he says, give it to me. Amen. The yes. son says, I'll fly to Coral <laughs> and give it to you. Thank God. And as the wife sat back and see what's going on, thank <laughs> God is comfortable. She says, I want to be in it too. Amen. 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 First church, first message, closing. When the congregation heard the story of Jesus and the bubbly that he made, they cried out. What, what shall we do? What shall we do? Repent. Then Peter said, Repent. That's a fancy word from God. Making a change. That's right? Right. Now people tell you repentance means you cry. But folks cry, but they don't change. Mm -hmm. That's true. Amen. But when you change and cry, mm -hmm. or when you cry and change, mm -hmm. that's repentance. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise oh, God. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. God. Amen. This man, the son of the son of the uh, brother, yeah. he, he, he was like, he was like, Pastor Peter Thomas. He baptizes. They, they teach all nations. So it's a teaching thing. Nations mean all nationality. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son of the Holy. That's Jesus' voice there. Wait a minute, Mitch. What's the name of the Father? Mitch, what's the name of the Son? Mitch didn't see it. And Mitch fought, fought, and fought, and fought. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Peter got it wrong. But after God spoke to his heart, God, the Bible says, then he opened up yes, their understanding. Yes. God, if you knew the gift, gift of God, God. he got the gift. Yes. He came in and said, I need to be rebaptized. Amen. Then back to the people that he fought with and said, I was wrong. That's right. Praise the Lord. That's Praise true. God. Tonight, on your way home, Hallelujah. tomorrow, in your private devotion, just ask God for one thing. Lord, will you reveal your gift yes, in sir. me? Forget about Santa Claus and all the boxes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, a real gift that keeps on giving yes, sir. Is, sir. is Jesus Christ. Amen. To leave here and to say no to the gift. I will give you water right. that you always have within you. That's right, spring. Now to come back and yeah. back and forth searching for refreshment. That's right. Oh, she well. cried out. Sir! Give me this water that I thirst not. Yes. Sir! Give me this water that I thirst not. Neither come hither to draw. I'm tired. I got weary. 
back and forth. I try Baptist, I try Methodist, I try Sunday Adventist, I try Mormon, I try all. Ha! Muslim, I try that, I try all of them. Hello. Just to satisfy! I try this, I try something. After I smacked my lips and, and I did all of that, I did a lot of something is still missing. Yes, sir. Give me this water. Yes, and sir. I thirst not. I'll never thirst again. Yes, sir. Neither come hither to drink. Neither do I have to keep going. Yes, sir. For place that is not oppressive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. May God keep you. Yes, sir. May God keep explode in you. Glory to God. As the, you know what the prophet said? The prophet said, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm not going to tell anybody about the relationship I have with God. But he said, I tried to keep it to myself. And he said, but it felt like fire. Yes. Shut up. Fire! Shut up. In my bones. In my bones. Mm -hmm. Don't leave here today. Mm -hmm. to God. Ask God to give it again. And you will come